welcome back to my youtube channel my name is danica and i'm the fit mom lifestyle on instagram ltk and tiktok and today i am back with another video so in today's video we're going to be talking about valentine's day gift ideas for the man in your life and of course i had to bring on the man in my life <laughs> this is josh my husband if you've been watching my channel for a while he's been on quite a few videos especially lately so had to bring him back for this video because I can suggest what I would buy for him, but it was kind of fun to ask him, like, what what do you actually want? What would you... Or use. Yeah, use, exactly. Yeah. Or suggest for your friends. I asked him, I said, what would you buy for my dad? What would you buy for your dad? What would you buy for, like, our cousin, co-workers, things like that. So... I think we put together a pretty good list and I'm really excited to get into it. So if you're excited for this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, Dossier perfumes um, or scents really. So Danica has been getting these Dossier scents now for what, a couple months? Mm -hmm. um, and when she first started getting them, uh, I didn't know that there were a lot of the scents were like unisex. Well, and I pick a lot of unisex scents. Right, so scents. she picks a lot of unisex scents. So I started, you know, sniffing around and seeing which ones I liked. Um, and eventually that led to me bogarting some of them and taking them as my own. And so one of the my favorite scents that I picked up from the collection that she grabbed was this one called Woody Sandalwood, which uh, is actually inspired by... Uh, Centaur 33, the scent Centaur 33. It's literally um, gone. There's nothing it's gone. left. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much left. out. Um, and I've basically been using, I use this one every single day. I put on a scent every single day before I go to work. Um, so that's five days a week, essentially. And um, these scents are great. Not only are they affordable, they smell great. They smell exactly like what they're inspired by. Uh, they last well. Um, this one in particular for me, I thought really wore well throughout the day. It got a little sweeter um, towards the end of the day, which I thought was was nice. Uh, it changed the profile a little bit, but it's going to change probably with anybody depending on your skin type and your perspiration and things like that. But definitely recommend um, Dossier Scents of Perfumes. Right now I'm using this one. It's the, I don't even know how to pronounce this. I'm going to butcher it, but it's like Fauge, Fauge? I don't know. Fougere Ode? <laughs> It's inspired it's by Tom Ford. Tom Ford Ode, Ode Wood. Wood. Yeah. Um, I bought this for myself. Again, I bought both of these for myself, yeah. but he took them both. No. He's also, before we move on from this one, he's gotten so many compliments on the Woody Sandalwood, which was inspired by Santal 33. He got compliments from men at work, men at the gym, yeah. which you don't usually get complimented on your scent. So. Yeah, usually it's the opposite, <laughs> right? Someone's like, you know, did someone eat an onion bagel type oh thing? Gosh. And you're like... I don't know. No. So yeah, I got a lot of compliments on this one. Um, this one, I like the way it, it smells at the beginning of the day. Really, really musky, very woody. Um, it says notes of rosewood, tobacco, pink pepper, coriander, middle notes, uh, patchouli, vetiver, and then base notes are tonka bean. Cedarwood. I don't know. Laudanum? Some of these I don't. I don't know. Cedarwood. But this one, I don't feel wears as much as better as well throughout the day as compared to this one and um, it's funny because i usually do the laundry in this house and i can smell them like whenever he wore either of these i could smell them on his work shirts like days later even if they were sitting in the laundry basket i would take them out of the basket to put them into the washer and i could still smell both of these scents so at least on clothes they really last i don't know about on your skin but i've mentioned this before that Literally days later, I will still smell these. So yeah, so highly recommend. Um, again, we talked about. You'll probably talk a little bit more about it, the discount codes and all that. But um, very, very affordable scents that um, still are high quality. I mean, they're they're really good. So I like them. We're gonna continue. Good, to get yeah. Them. Good, good gifts. And I think again, I bought a lot of these for myself, but they do have um, like specifically kind of more for women, more for men, or unisex on the website, I gravitate towards a lot of unisex scents. And so um, just know that if you're buying for anybody for Valentine's Day, there's a really great selection and you can really kind of look through the website and see what you want, what kind of scents you like. So 
let me grab the ones that I got and I'll talk about those. Okay, so I grabbed two new scents and I specifically picked one more for Valentine's Day and one as just more like a spring summer scent. I have been talking a lot on Instagram and YouTube about how excited I am for warmer weather. So of course I was inspired by that and grabbed kind of like a better scent, at least in my opinion, for spring and summer. So first let me talk about the one that I picked up for Valentine's Day. This one is called Floral Marshmallow and this one is inspired by Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I've heard so many good things about the Killian Love Don't Be Shy perfume, but I've never tried it. And also my local Sephora didn't have it usually. Whenever there's a perfume I want to try out, I go into my local Sephora, smell it, spray it on myself, and kind of wear it for the day and see if it's something I might want to purchase. But I've never even smelled this one. I don't know. I've never seen it in person. So when I saw that Dossier had it, I thought, you know what? Let me just get it. Again, like Josh was saying earlier, they're so affordable. Some of their perfumes start as low as $39. So again, I was like, you know what? This is a safe blind buy. I wouldn't necessarily blind buy the Killian Love Don't Be Shy but I would definitely blind buy the dossier because it's just not as much of a risk. Also, they have a free 30-day kind of trial, so you can return a full-size perfume up to 30 days, no questions asked. So again, it's just kind of like, why not try it? Um, so this one, the top notes are marshmallow, neroli, bergamot, and middle notes, orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, base notes, amber, vanilla, and musk. And I have not worn either of these yet like out and about but this one really I can smell a lot of the marshmallow so if you like more of like a sweeter scent um, I know we've talked a lot about more like masculine kind of woody scents but this one is definitely more feminine definitely sweeter um, so I I don't know I really like it I think um, lately I've been gravitating towards some of my like more sweeter feminine scents so very excited to wear this one what do you think yeah. you like it you would never wear this one, but I just feel like it's it's really pretty. It's very, if you're looking for like a pretty girly feminine scent, sometimes I like to wear these scents to work a lot. I don't know, I just, I really love that one. And then the other one that I got, I own the one that this is inspired by. This is called Woody Sage, and this is inspired by Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I love this perfume. Again, this one I feel like is kind of unisex, so hopefully he doesn't take this one, but I love this one. So top notes are fig, grapefruit, middle notes are ambrette, um, base notes, sage, and amberwood. And I love, I love the original Joe Malone. And this one to me smells honestly just like it. I feel like again, because it's got a little bit of like the grapefruit, but it also has a little bit of the amberwood. It's just it can really work for any season. You can wear this on like a summer night or you can wear it on a fall day. Um, I really do feel like the Woods Agency Salt or the Woody Sage are such like, you could have this be kind of like your go-to daily set. So really love these. Again, like I said, um, Dossier is super affordable. They also do a welcome offer up to 20% and I have my own discount code, which I'll pop on the screen. It's an additional 5%. So if you have not tried, I highly recommend Dossier. Again, I'm kind of building my collection. Josh is building his collection. We need to buy another one of the, which one is this one called? The Woody Sandalwood. Um, we really need to grab another one of these, but love these, love the bottles. They make really good gifts because they are just like really beautiful. You can kind of of see let's see if it'll focus but it has like a really pretty top that just kind of snaps yeah, back on it it. yeah it doesn't want to it doesn't want to focus but we really love these both of us um highly recommend honestly for anybody on your list again like i said you can go through the website and filter and just i really am glad that we tried dossier and we've had such a good experience so thank you so much to dossier for partnering with me on this portion of the video and let's continue with the rest of your recommendations all right so my second recommendation is the license to train jogger and obviously it wouldn't be a fit mom lifestyle video if we weren't talking about some lemon product so this is my second recommendation. It's the, I think it's in the color raw linen, raw linen um, which I saw Danica showed me on the website. I don't think I've seen it, I hadn't seen it in store, but it went, I think, on sale on the website. I think they're still in stock too. Okay. So I get a, I get a medium. Um, I'm about 5'8", 175. Uh, so just for, for reference um, when you're looking for sizes to buy for uh, the man in your life. 
but I uh, highly recommend this jogger. I think in one of the previous videos that I've talked about this jogger in comparison to the Surge jogger by Lululemon, um, I was kind of on the fence as to which one I liked depending on what uh, the activity was. Right now I've been doing a lot of running, so I've been wearing a lot of the Surge joggers for running. But then in the gym, since it's been cold, I've been wearing a lot of these uh, the license to train more often. I want to say I don't want to say a lot. I have two pairs in addition to this one now three, uh, but uh, just a great all around um, workout jogger. The the fabric is very durable. Um, it's also very um, breathable. It stretches and moves well with my body. I feel like it fits um, the way I want my joggers or my workout pants to fit. Uh, I really like the cuffed and um, spandex tapered, uh, what do you call them, the bottom of the pant? Yeah, the cuff. Uh, the cuff of the pant because uh, a lot of times I feel like if the fabric gets too much down, bunched up down towards my, my ankles, um, it just makes me feel uncomfortable oh, when I'm working out. Oh, these are vents. Yeah, they do have vents in them That's and there's, cool. a, there's a couple of uh, spots where there's some reflective technology just like... Right here, there's a reflective logo. Reflective logo, um, it's got the locker loop on the back, you have a drawstring um, to make it tighter. It's got, I think it has the three pockets. So the two front zipper pockets and the back um, cheek wallet zipper pocket. But just just an all around great uh, workout jogger that I'm really feeling as of late during this cold season. So um, highly recommend these for any of the men in your life that do a lot of working out. This was an early Valentine's Day gift for Josh, and they actually, I think these ones are still on sale. They also have, I think, green twill on sale mm -hmm. um, as well, so you could definitely grab a pair on sale, but I will say, again, like I said, I usually wash our clothes, and with all Lululemon, I wash them on delicate and hang to dry. With these, I usually wash them inside out because they are that abrasion-resistant fabric. They do have a little bit of, like, almost like grit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe that, yeah. but because of that we do crossfit and so we use a lot of chalk so josh will sometimes get chalk on these and i do want to say that if you don't rub the chalk out it doesn't always like wash out so i have to take like a towel which reminds me i just threw a pair in the wash with chalk and i didn't rub them out so you're gonna have chalk on your clean okay. <laughs> license to drink but anyway i usually try and like rub the chalk out um just because otherwise because of the texture on the pants it kind of like holds on to it so just be aware of that just something i want to point out if you know your the man in your life doesn't use chalk obviously that's not going to be an issue but it does like stay on the pant unless you rub it out with like a cloth or something so just be aware of that but otherwise he has these in what gray and black gray black and now so. this color so latest edition and i will link the videos down below we have had like i said a couple of videos where josh has, talk has talked about mainly just lululemon right mm -hmm. so i'll have those linked down below as well if you want some other lululemon ideas for the man in your life all right so the third product uh, i want to talk about that i would recommend would be the lululemon rest feel slides uh, these are in black um we're kind of like touching them delicately because <laughs> i've already worn them but um they do say Lululemon on the back, which is I, cool. I would say historically have not been a slides person. Um, I didn't, I mean, I usually just always wear shoes. Even in high school playing sports and stuff like that, when I would get out of my running shoes or whatever, I would just untie them um, and just wear them loose, not necessarily change into a different pair of shoe. I didn't like the, the hassle of doing something like that or having another pair of shoe with me. Uh, but I knew like the, a lot of the track guys, basketball guys, anybody who's soccer. wearing soccer, everybody would, would change out and wear something else and a lot of people would wear slides. So I, I historically wasn't somebody who enjoyed wearing slides either just casually or after sports or anything like that. But now that I've picked up a pair of these, um, I wear these a lot around, really around the house. Um, I'll throw on a pair of socks and then I'll just put wear these to keep my toes warm. Um, but I really like the way these feel. Uh, they're they're made really well, I would say. Um, the traction's pretty good on them. Mm -hmm. uh, the the cushion in them is really nice. They're so once cushiony, you, yeah. Once you wear them a couple times, I feel like they mold kind of like rainbows. They, they mold kind of to your feet. Um, and the strap is really well done. I don't feel like it's ever really gonna break or anything like that. Uh, I haven't really noticed any weak points in it, but just a good all-around slide for around the house uh, post-workouts. I haven't taken them to the gym yet. 
but um, I think it's just a it's a good slide to have, and I and I think they're relatively affordable too. So, um, would highly recommend these the rest feel rest slides. feel slide. Did you have to break them in? Do you feel I like you... I didn't feel like I had to break them in? Okay. I just started wearing them, and they kind of broke in on their own. I don't. And then these also come in only full sizes, so you got yours are in a size ten. Hmm. What size do you usually wear? Nine and a half, right? right? Okay, so Josh usually wears a nine and a half in shoes and I got these for him in a 10. Now I have the women's and I usually wear an eight or an eight and a half in women's shoes and I got mine in an eight. So like regular shoes, I wear an eight. Um, workout shoes, I usually wear an eight and a half. Now I have stolen those multiple times, especially like after a workout or something. If I'm in socks, but I don't wanna walk around the house without shoes on, I'll wear his slides because as much as I love my slides, like he said, they form to your foot. And so mine sit on my foot like really well, really comfortably. But if I'm wearing socks or if I want to slip them on like quickly, um, the men's are better. They're definitely wider. Obviously his are a couple sizes too big, but I really love the men's. So again, while we're titling this like a men's gift guide, obviously any of these items can be purchased for anybody and I think I'm gonna do I think a whole separate video on Lululemon shoes because I really do have a lot to say but I think I'm gonna buy myself a pair of the men's slides because as much as I love the women's I like the width and kind of like ease of sliding on and off if that makes any sense of the men's and again I probably could size up just one in the women's because I'm kind of between sizes but I still feel like I like the width and kind of like these remind me of a traditional, you know, like an Adidas slide or whatever. They're pretty wide. Whereas I feel like the Lululemon ones for women really form to your feet, which are great if you want to wear them in the summer all day. It's perfect. But if I want to throw them on quickly after the gym, I just really like the men's. I really like the wider ones. So anyway, just wanted to throw that in here too. If you're a woman watching this for yourself, again, I'll do a whole video on Lululemon shoes because I've tried all of them and I have a lot to say, but just wanted to throw that in as well. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about, we're still kind of in the vein of uh, apparel, um, but moving on to, towards uh, accessories is, is this hat here. So I know I've talked uh, a couple times about the uh, Fast Lululemon and Fast and Free hat, which I think is a great running hat to wear. Um, but I also uh, want to talk about this brand. It's called Melon, M-E-L-I-N. And I'm sure uh, if you're in the fitness community or... Um, just in the active wear community, you've probably heard about this brand um, or seen it pop up. I, I think, was introduced to this brand maybe about a year and a half ago, a year ago. It's been a while, it's yeah, been a couple a summers. Bit. So I picked this hat up then. Um, this is the, I think it's the A Game Hydro, right? So it's actually meant to be a hat that you can wear when you're doing like water sports and stuff like that, which I think is really cool. So it it wicks away moisture really well. Uh, I think it's it's buoyant, so it floats. Um, and I've worn this a fair amount of times to work out. It, it definitely, you know, I don't think it, it's worn I'll, really well throughout the workout. <laughs> no, no, it's, I mean, that's my point is that I've, I've worked out really hard in it. I've sweat in it. Uh, it's gotten dirty and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't stink at all. I think it's, it's, I think it's probably the material that it's made out of and it's the way that it's made. But I highly recommend, especially if you have somebody who likes to wear hats a lot, I wear a lot of hats. Um, and so I like to have a variety of hats, especially, you know, if I'm working out or running or just hanging out on the weekends or going to some place um, like the beach or something where I want to have kind of a, you know, a cooler hat. Um, highly recommend this, this hat. It comes in a bunch of different colors. There's like three or four different um, styles. styles. I actually have the, one of the other styles too that has like a, like a cord. I think it's the Coronado. But highly recommend these hats. Um, really cool. Check out the brand. They've got a lot of um, cool stuff. They're really great for anyone who does water sports too. So maybe, um, you know, but also like boating someone like my brother loves to go to the river. We should get him one of these. He would love this. Um, and I actually have one too, which I've only really worn to the pool. But um, again, another gift that you could buy for yourself or for the man in your life. But um, yeah, we really like these hats. All right, so the next item I want to talk about is just, it's a classic item. Uh, I'm sure this has been on a million gift guide ideas on YouTube before, but this is just the, these are the sunglasses I wear on a daily basis. 
Uh, these Danica bought these for me probably over two years ago. These are the Ray Ban Wayfair. I think in the tur turtle. Is it the the tur yeah, uh, turquoise. Uh, turquoise, not turquoise. Um, turtle. It's like turtle something, right? Is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Why are we struggling? <laughs> anyway, um, I love these sunglasses. They're they're made so well. They hold Tortoise. up. Tortoise. Tortoise. Turtle. See? I don't know. <laughs> I know. We're like. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's a Saturday night, guys. Yeah. What? We're just, we're out of it. Okay, it's fine. So, um, I don't even know how much these cost, but, but I, can I got them in the Nordstrom anniversary sale a few there years ago. So they were like at least 30% off. Josh is notorious for breaking, losing. Whatever so you could possibly do to a sunglass, I've probably done. Yeah. Like thrown it off a boat. I've, it's come off the top of my car. Um, <laughs> I've run one, one over. Like it just, it, they're, they're gonna get lost, they're gonna get broken, but for some reason, these ones, I don't know if they're just lucky or whatever, but I, I probably jinxed it. I but, know, it's okay. But I've had these them. for a long time. I love these sunglasses. I feel like they fit well on my face. Um, I think they're polarized too. These ones are probably I think polarized. so. Um, they're just really nice yeah, and they're a sturdy good, pair. Good sturdy sunglasses. So, yeah. it's a good one. Good classic kind of thing. Again, men or women, but love these. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, it's actually on my wish list right now because I'm going to borrow down because, um, but this is a three, I don't want to say appliance, but three charging port, I don't know, three piece it. charging station, right? So I actually picked this up for Danica for Christmas, yeah. Christmas, um, it's on Amazon. I'm sure Danica's going to link it, uh, on her Amazon storefront for you guys to check it out. But um, I kind of went out on a limb on this one to see if we liked it, if it's going to work for us, um, and it's really, really cool. So this is meant to charge your phone, your Apple Watch, and then this little pad right here is you can place your um, AirPods. AirPod um, case. case right here. And then it's got two ports in the back. One is for the cable that powers the charging station itself. The other one is a USB port, so you can plug in no, an additional an additional um, charging cable. So you can have your phone and then maybe somebody else's phone on uh, the charging cable itself. But it's it's a really cool thing. It also has, there's a button here and around the entire base here is actually a light. So if you know you have this on your nightstand or something like that and you want to have like a little night light or just some sort of sort of illumination in the middle of the night, you tap it once, it, it's a it low light. Settings. Yeah, yeah, tap it twice, three times, and it gives you different settings. Um, highly recommend this one. I think it charges your stuff pretty fast. It's really good. The so. only thing I will say is I, when I first, I got a new phone. When I first got this phone, I got a case that was compatible with this, which was great. Josh is kind of mad at me because I, I, if you know me, you know, I love loopy cases and I really, really, truly love my loopy case, but I can't use this on here anymore. So I do have to use the charger and I just plug in my phone now, but I do use it for my watch and my AirPods. So just, you know, obviously the person needs to have a compatible case. Um, so unfortunately this one doesn't work, but I do have a case that I can use if I want to. Um, but I do really like this and I did use the light. It's not super bright, but I've used it as a reading light to a few nights. So it does, it is a good, decent light. So I really like that. It's such a good gift and now he wants one too. So yeah, very cool. Highly recommend, especially if you have somebody, or you know, somebody or yourself who has a bunch of Apple products. All right. So moving on to the next item. Um, we've been talking about things that I kind of use every day um, or that I would recommend that someone have that could use every day uh, depending on what their lifestyle is. But the next one I want to talk about is this Yeti um, coffee mug on the go. I think it's a 20 something ounce. I don't know. 20, 20 ounce maybe? Anyway, I've had this for about a year. Um, I take coffee almost every day on the way to work. I drink it up on the way. Uh, or I drink it in the early morning, but it actually has a, a screw top. It's not one of the ones that um, kind of you squish in or press in. Um, so that w in that sense, it seems like it's very secure. It's got the classic magnet um, kind of open close piece Sick. there. I don't know what you call that. Uh, it's got the handle, which I like, and it has the tapered bottom. You have to press it. The tapered bottom, so it should fit into most cup holders. Wait, it's hard to do this holding it like this, yeah. but yeah. Uh, so I highly recommend this. It keeps all of my 
coffee hot for a very, very long time. I actually have to take the top off and let it air out and cool sometimes because it's just too hot to drink. Um, but definitely recommend this one, especially if there's somebody who, it doesn't have to be coffee, it could be hot tea. It could be a cold drink and it'll keep it very, very cold. I think Danica can attest to that with her Yeti that she uses for water. Um, but Yeti just makes a good product, I would say. They've got so much variety in all the ones that they have, um, the colors, sizes, things like that. But I think this is a great size. It's great for coffee, tea, any sort of drink. Um, highly recommend this we one. have a lot of yeti items he has that one i have like the traditional coffee one that doesn't have the handle but i do like his better because like he said it screws on so it's more secure i've got my like 30 ounce yeti i have two of these and then we've got the kind of like traditional kind of cup one i don't even know what you call that but like the little cup that i have the mug one the mug yeah, yeah. and then we also have the wine glass one mm -hmm. so I do have my Stanley, which I love, but we are big Yeti fans. Josh, we also both have Hydro Flasks. We, we drink a lot. Like, we drink, a, we always have, like, multiple drinks on hand, but we do really love Yeti. I think that is, not I think, that is for sure the brand that we own the most, like, cups from. So we really do love Yeti. So highly recommend any kind of cup from Yeti, really. Okay. All right, so the next thing, we're still talking about kind of, I mean, we're talking about a coffee mug. Um, this little guy, I think, is so cool. I picked this up for Danica uh, a couple years ago. So um, we have coffee probably every single day. Danica uses creamers and things like that. And protein. And collagen. protein, mm -hmm. collagen. And for a while there, just like anybody else, when you don't have something that mixes it for you, you use a spoon, right? And so you're always just standing there, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. So there's got to be a better way. Um, so I started looking online, and this is actually meant to be a, a like a milk frother, frother, frother. <laughs> frother. Uh, it comes with a little stand here, but we actually use this just to mix our, our drinks. Yep. Um, actually, you can even do it. You just press the top. That's cool. So uh, we picked this one up on Amazon. Uh, it doesn't take much space. We have it standing right there next to the Keurig. Um, we both use it every day. Yeah. We've had it for years. And then your mom also bought one because she loved, we lived with my in-laws for a little bit during COVID and my in-laws really liked it. Yeah. So, so they, they bought their own too. Up. And like I said, you don't have to use it just to froth milk. You, you can use it. I don't even put any creamer in my coffee. I just put sugar and I use that to stir it up. Uh, Danica takes greens in the morning. Mm -hmm. If you're just doing greens or uh, if you're on like the mud water trend or anything like that, um, you can use this to to stir it up and it and it mixes it very very well um, And we've so, had ours for years and yeah. we've never had a problem with it. Yeah. So yeah. highly recommend that place one. the batteries and that's about it Just as long as you rinse it after every use. I think it it'll last a really long time So highly recommend that little piece there um, It's a cool guy cool little accessory to have in the kitchen um, And you probably will find yourself using it every single day if you get one So the last thing I want to talk about we're still talking about drinks and drinkware and things like that um, if you're looking for a last minute gift, uh, I would recommend, especially for somebody, if you know somebody who works out a lot, drinks either pre-workouts or protein shakes or anything like that, it's just a bottle blender. Um, I can't tell you how many of these I have gotten over the years or have gotten rid of over the years because maybe you accidentally leave it filled with something <laughs> you don't wash it out and then it ends up stinking up. But um, these guys are great. It comes actually with a little whisk inside. Um, so it should whisk out uh, when you mix the protein and stuff like that. It shouldn't clump it in the bottom and things like that. It's very affordable. It's a great little bottle to have. You don't even have to use it for um, protein or pre-workout. So you can put ice in it uh, and put water and take it to the pool or anything like that. But I think this is a great uh, mixer bottle to have with you or give to somebody who works out. Uh, they come in a bunch of different sizes all the way down to maybe like a like an 8 or 10 ounce little mixer uh, all the way up to this one is 20 plus ounces. I think they even have a larger one than this. But these little bottle blenders are cool. I've been using these, I don't know, the last 10, 10 years, years uh, and who knows how many I've gone through. Um, this one is just has a rogue stamp on it, but it is the bottle blender, blender bottle brand. So highly recommend these. It's a nice little gift. You can never have too many of these, I think.
You could also like get this and stick tissue paper and a gift card in too if you wanted to do like yeah. something smaller or easier last minute like you said. You could just do something like that. That would be kind of cute. Um, and then again with these Amazon gifts, a lot of these you could grab last minute as well. So hopefully this helped you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Josh for joining us. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, I always want to know if you like when we do videos together. Um, a lot of you have said you've liked Josh's input. Um, so if you do have any video recommendations for us to do together, let us know down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.